Hi and welcome back to a brand new video with Minishu 203 and we're gonna go to the Smash Bros. Ultimate update for this week and the game is out in the next week so the game is getting close, it's getting really close that means we have only one more episode with this one with this Smash Bros. Ultimate stuff uh, weekly videos from my channel uh, unless I wanna keep doing them after the game releases but we have to wait and see about that however uh, let's go and start with Monday, where we have a character in the spotlight, and that is Diddy Kong. Where his description says, Donkey Kong's trusty partner Diddy Kong uses his lightweight and ability to get around quickly. For his final smash, Diddy takes the air with he, takes takes to the air with his rocket barrel, and then attacks all over the stage. The final hit is seriously powerful. Diddy Kong is not a character I use a lot. I mean, he is okay. Of course, it's cool that he is in Smash, uh, but he's not really one of the characters I really, uh, you know, really used a lot. To be honest, in no, none of the Smash games actually. I've not used him in neither of them. I have used him, but not much. Uh, but in New Japan Smash, we've seen that in action, uh, and it looks a lot cooler. Of course, because it's it kind of flies around the stage and uh, targets the nearby player, I guess, but, um, you know, and bombard the stage or something. But he is still all right character. It's not a whole lot for me to say about this because I just don't play much of him. I guess I played most of him. Most I played of him was in Brawl, but that was only because of the Sun Space Emissary. So. Yeah, I don't think it will change much for him for his ultimate, but we have to wait and see. Then we have Tuesday, where we have another character in the spotlight, and that is Lucas. Where his description says, Like Ness, Lucas is a young boy who uses PSI powers. Some of their PSI powers share the same names. But since Lucas has different abilities, the moves may work differently. Be sure to try them out. For his final smash, he calls down a shower of meter along with Kamatora and Boney. And Lucas is a character I lose a lot. I used him a lot in Brawl. I just he just really appealed to me in Brawl uh, a lot more than uh, Ness did. Um, so anytime I got the opportunity to play as even subspace, I pretty much did it. I can't even say he was one of my mains, but he was. A character I used a lot, of course. Uh, of course, his fun smash uh, is kind of just the same as uh, Ness. It's always been that, but it's still cool to see see uh, how much he's changed from you know this is previous Smash Bros. games, I guess. Even though I don't think there's a whole lot, but anyway, he is still a cool character. I never played Mother or Earthbound for that matter. So I can't really uh, say much about the games itself, but I enjoyed Lucas, and I didn't play as much of him in Smash 4, but I don't know how much that will change in Ultimate, it probably won't change much, I just guess Brawl was the place where he was more of a main, even though it wasn't completely a main main, but yeah, Lucas is alright. Let's go over to Wednesday, where we have... Well, theoretically, we had three updates. One of them is a stage, and that is the Sasuke, Sasu, Sa, uh, Susaku Castle. Oh, I can say that for some reason. Anyway, the uh, description of the stage says, This stage has a large platform on the right and two smaller on the left. Depending on your fighting style, you might prefer, prefer, prefer one side over the other. This stage comes with music tracks for 16 characters. When the clock starts running out, or if your stock goes down to 1, the music may get more intense. This was actually one of the cooler stages in uh, Smash 4 that came with DLC because of Ryu and all that. And I actually used uh, played on this stage a lot. I play more on the final destination version, of course, but... It's a cool stage, and it does look really good in Ultimate. And I can't wait to be playing more on this stage, because... It's gonna be really fun, I guess. And um, 16 characters has their music tracks. That 
is a cool. I wonder if the how much of those music tracks is new though. I guess only time will tell actually. But we have to wait and see. However, the two other updates is technically for music tracks. Where one of them is um yeah, technically the, the Nintendo Switch presentation 2017 trailer BGM from Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. And the arrangement is by Ryu Naga Nagamatsu. Ryu Ryu Nagamatsu. And the second one is just talking a little bit about the uh, the Lifelight team, uh, where it talks about uh, where it's technically they said, uh, yeah, the vocals is by that one is just Rina Koga, uh, while the, that's Japanese one, while the English one is by Abby Trot, which is alright enough, and I do like both versions of the Lifelight, they're really good music tracks, so I just really enjoy them. And Zelda music, I do like that one too. It's uh, interesting and it's cool to see that it is here. It is here. So, and it even says that you can enjoy this track, which you can't listen to in the main game. So it's cool that it's uh, gonna be featured in Smash. So that I like that. Let's go to first day. We have another assist. Where we have an assist trophy in the spotlight, and that is flies in hand. Where the description says, flies buzz around the stage. In hand, ha in a hand holding a fly spot, sweater goes around, and sweating up a storm. Getting caught in the sweat storm will really cause several damage. So think like a fly and run away. And this is a cool assist trophy, in my opinion, because, well, it's just really cool, and I do like uh, this one. It's. Uh, Original from uh, oh, correct me if I'm wrong. This is about this, but I think it's Mario Paint or something similar to that. But it did appear in reappear in um, Mario Mario Maker though, so it's cool to see that They're actually making another appearance here in Smash Brothers, and that's freaking cool. Uh, <laughs> this sister is probably gonna be really interesting. Since you probably have to stay away from the flies because, you know, yeah, the sweater is gonna be focusing on the flies after all, so it's really cool, it's really cool. If we go to Friday, we have another character in the spotlight, and that is Yoshi. Where his description says, Yoshi is about egg related moves. Like throw eggs, swallow opponents and turning them into eggs, turning into an egg and charging towards an opponent. With a high jump recovery is a piece of cake for Yoshi. For his final smash, a Yoshi army stumbles through the stage. Yoshi is cool, and his new final smash, really cool. It's a literally a reference to the melee uh, from the opening from Smash Bros. Melee, and that is really cool. If you ask me, uh, Yoshi is a kid that I I can't really say I used him a lot, but I have used him enough in Smash 4 and Ball to see, feel that I like his moves and all that. But I think I used him more in Ball to be honest than I did in Smash 4. Um, I don't know why, but anyway, it could be his changes for Ultimate though. Yeah, it's really cool to have Yoshi is a really cool character in my opinion. I just really like Yoshi. He's you know one of the best characters in the Mario universe, to be honest. And of course, I don't think it, think of him as the best because the best in my opinion is of course Luigi. But Yoshi, cool, and the games Yoshi games are actually a lot of fun too. So it's still really cool that Yoshi is here. We also have a sec well, a final update of the week, I guess it came on Wednesday or something, but it's not how much, it's the final uh, uh, Famitsu article pretty much, or you do with Masami Sakurai, and it's talking a little bit about, uh, uh, yeah, a little bit about the main team, it talks a little bit why Kirby survived, and a little bit of the spirits, and the fir uh, patch, first patch. Uh, which will disturb a first update of the launch day. Players should uh, purchase the digital version, but don't need to worry, but players who purchase the physical version should apply this day one patch before you play. We also prevent your replays from going off track. 
By the way, if you save your replays as videos, you can keep them forever. But note that you know that you know that they take up take up a lot of space. So it's not a whole interest whole lot, I guess, but it's a nice little touch uh, itself. I'm gonna leave a link to this article down in the description below. Of course, you can watch it too. You can go read it yourself. Uh, but it has. Yeah, there's some interesting information about it, of course. Um, so it's cool to see that it's information, I guess. Anyway, uh, that was pretty much all we have up, all up this week got for this week. Uh, let me know what you think is the best update of this week. And be sure to subscribe to me and YouTube for, me for more on Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. And be sure to f be sure be, 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 wow I can't talk. Be sure to follow the socials in the link below. For example, uh, my uh, Twitter, Facebook uh, page, or in course my Discord, as you can join that if you want to. Where we can talk, for example, Smash Brothers or other stuff, and play games, for example. So yeah, that is pretty much all of this we have to go for this week. And there's not really anything else to cover here, so I'm gonna just, I'm just gonna end this video, and I'm gonna thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I see you guys in my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Minish YouTube for me. Signing out.